Good for you. Yes. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. Hey, what about what? you? Ruby. 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 Ruby, bag that. Well, I, I thought you were going to eat it here. I've changed my mind again. You got a bag for this? Well, I guess so, sure. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Money's on the table. Keep the change. Well, what's your hurry? Come here. Guys out here, they look like they just got out of the zoo. Yeah, I see. They're following me. You're in trouble. No, I'm not in trouble, but a front door. Look, is there any way I can get out of here without using the front door? But this back door in the kitchen. Terrific. Thanks a lot, kid. Wednesday, right? You take care of it. I don't know what that was all about. Well, you heard him. He asked me to help. Doesn't mean you have to help him. I'm so well trained by Lou blind obedience. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, here they come. I'm looking for Frisco Jones. Oh, yeah, I know the name. Uh, he was just in here. Well, I must have missed him. You check the kitchen. No. Nobody goes in my kitchen. Check it anyway. Not so fast. Uh, who are you? Friend of the proprietors. She doesn't like strangers in her kitchen. Or in her diner. You throwing us out? You see that door? Start walking. Come on. The audacity of that man making you attend. Who the hell does he think he is anyway? That is not funny, Lila. I wasn't joking, dear. Well, I don't know. The rest if uh, I could all have your attention for a minute. <clears throat> Firstly, I'd like to thank you all for getting here at such short notice. I realize you're all rather busy, so I'll be brief and to the point. I have some uh, facts to present to you, some rather disturbing facts. First one will be no surprise, and that is that Beatrice did not die of natural causes. She died of a drug overdose, in fact, a massive drug overdose. And not just one drug, a combination of various drugs. Furthermore, our investigations uncovered the fact that these drugs were administered by four separate individuals. Now, in case you're wondering what that means, I'll tell you. Homicide, ladies and gentlemen, pure and simple. Each of the four individuals is just as guilty as the other. Excuse me, Commissioner, but on behalf of this entire group, what exactly are you insinuating? Quite simply, Alan, I'm saying that maybe one of you, or some of you, or conceivably all of you, had something to do with Beatrice's death. Why, this is preposterous. I must object adamantly, Commissioner, to such accusations. Now, Amanda, dear, there's no need to get upset. I'm quite sure that Mr. Scorpio has uh, plenty of evidence to back up his uh, claims. As a matter of fact, I do, Lila. Firstly, each of you had a motive for wanting Beatrice out of the way. Now, in private conversations, I've learnt these motives. However, at the time, none of you realised that you could be had up on a charge of involuntary manslaughter. Secondly, everybody here had access to the drugs that were found in Beatrice's system. True. You probably weren't contemplating murder at the time, but that's unfortunately what happened. And thirdly, each person here risks a conviction if the guilty party or parties don't step forward. In other words, you want a confession? Or confessions. Robert, if you know who did it, why are you looking for confessions? Because I don't yet know who the guilty party is. However, let me tell you, it's just a matter of time before my investigation uncovers the guilty party 
or parties. In other words, it's come clean now and save you the trouble, is That's it? about the size of it, Edward. And one more point. I might add that the DA is positively thrilled at the prospect of prosecuting more than one person for the same crime. Well, I had nothing to do with it. Nor did I. We all hate it, Irv Hubbard, but not that much. We're innocent, all of us. Oh, you'll have to look elsewhere for your confessions, Commissioner. There's not a guilty conscience amongst us. Nor is there a guilty person among us. The defense rests, Commissioner. In other words, you're barking up the wrong trees. Oh, that's all right. At this point, I'll eat anything. What took you so long? Oh, I was playing hide-and-seek with your two friends, frickin' frack. Those guys don't give up, you know? It's got a lot writing on this. I guess so. Mmm. Hamburgers and fries. Don't you think it's about time you told me what those two guys want? When the time is right, I'll tell you everything, but... In the meantime, we'll just have to remain friendly, but not intimate allies. How does that sound? Like the old line about kissing your sister. I don't think I know that one. Never mind. What about my walking cast? Well, I was getting to that. Have you talked to Anthony yet? He'll be able to put it on Wednesday. Where? If it's all right with you, downstairs in our apartment. You can't come up here? I don't understand you. Aren't you ever satisfied? Well, it's safer up here. Everything has got to be your way. I don't even... I know what you mean. Frisco is your new protector. He'll do anything you want him to because... because you're smart. And you're beautiful and you're sexy. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I've had it. You understand? You're getting Frisco's Neutrality Act. I I'm over. Miss who the hell ever you are. Then you're leaving me? Unable to protect myself? Unable to walk? You got it. Only until you get the walking cast. Until I'm just mobile enough to just walk right out of your life? Yeah, exactly. Let me take this opportunity to take back any compliment I have ever given you. I assumed you were a decent man. But now I know better. Well, I'm sorry I didn't live up to your expectations. I'll walk out of your life gladly, but if only if I can leave with what I brought in. The ring? The ring. No deal. That ring belongs to me. The ring belongs to me. And I can still call the cops and turn you in for trying to steal it. You wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? Don't try me.